everyone. So this video is going to be a kind of series of a few videos that I'm going to do called My Top, which is going to be My Top something. Um, and by the title of this, you can obviously see it's my top foundations for oily skin. Now, if you've got oily skin, it means that your skin is a little bit greasy. Generally, it's kind of a bit more acne prone. You have more enlarged pores, maybe a little bit more blemishes, but um, your skin produces more oil. Therefore, it kind of looks shinier and glowier, shall we say. And um, finding a product to kind of keep the oil at bay and kind of settle on the skin without oxidizing and appearing a kind of darker more orange shade than it actually is can be a little bit difficult as well as finding a shade to, finding a foundation to keep you matte and I have got very oily skin um, but I just want to point something out because I'm sure a lot of you will see the things I've chosen in this video and say yeah but you use all these other ones these are the foundations I would choose if I wanted to make sure that my base was really long lasting and stayed matte. But some days I don't want a matte foundation, I want something a little bit glowier, a little bit dewier, um, something that's a little bit more kind of natural looking because foundations, um, foundations for oily skin tend to be a little bit more heavier because they obviously need to kind of work a little bit harder to stay on your skin because the oil can kind of disturb it. And I like a kind of dewy and more natural finish. Therefore, things like MAC Face and Body or NARS Should Glow are things that I really like and I would use on a regular basis, um, definitely. But when I want to stay matte and have kind of very flawless complexion and make sure the oil really, really is kept at bay, then these are the ones that I will use. I've chosen three for you. I'm going to kind of talk about the pros and cons of each of them and why I chose them. The first one is probably not going to be much of a shock to you and it is the longest lasting foundation I have ever used and it is Revlon Colour Stay. I've got this in the shade um, mm -mm, 340 Early Tan and it's a little bit orange for me, a kind of little bit pinky orange but this is the longest lasting foundation on your skin. You have to cleanse really really thoroughly probably about three times if you want to get this off properly because it is a very 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 long lasting foundation it gives a very matte finish um the only thing with this is that the finish can sometimes be a little dull like a little bit unnatural it's that matte but if you want something to stay on your skin then this is absolutely amazing it's got spf 6 um so it does kind of have a bit of a weird appearance in flash photography but it feels nice on the skin. Um, it says it's shine, um, shine control oil free. Uh, natural flawless coverage. It's not natural looking at all. It is flawless. You rarely, rarely need concealer if you're going to use this. But it's not a natural coverage. It is quite heavy, medium to heavy coverage, I'd say. And it's transfer resistant. It is. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it has... The, it doesn't have a pump, it's one of those sort of hole ones, but um, it's a bit annoying because the hole that it comes out of is actually massive, so you do get a lot of product. And the best way to apply it really is with a, found, with a flat foundation brush, but you do have to work quite quickly because it does settle. But if you want something that will take you from day to night and keep you shine free, um, sorry, I didn't mention that this is the combination oily skin version. They do do a normal to dry skin version. If you're oily skinned, pick up the oily skin version. Um, but this is really, really nice. So, yeah, it is very, very long lasting, though. And um, you do have to kind of take into consideration that it is a little bit heavy. Then I have the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation in the shade, um, what shade have I got? I think it's blonde, yeah, 20 blonde. And this is a lovely product actually. It's um, in the kind of cheaper price range, it's about 13 pounds, but if you get the number seven voucher, it's cheaper than that. It comes with a pump, which is great. The packaging is plastic. Um, if I didn't mention, the Revlon Colour Stay is glass, so not that great for carrying around with you. Plastic packaging, a nice slim kind of bottle. Um, and this just said that it gives a soft, shine-free, even finish. Um, 
and it's great applied with the brush. I always apply it with a flat foundation brush. I have done a foundation routine using this, so I will link that in the description box for you so you can go and have a look at it and see kind of what it looks like on. But this isn't as matte as Revlon Color Stay. It's more of a dewy finish. It doesn't have as much coverage, but um, it is a really, really nice foundation. The only bad thing I'll say about this is that the color selection is a little bit poor. They only have about five or six shades and it is a bit difficult to find the right one for you this one is a little bit um too dark for me kind of too orangey but um you can always mix foundations and i tend to kind of mix them to kind of make the color just right for me as well but this is a really nice product if you like a foundation that's long lasting and that is shine free but kind of dewy and more natural looking um you do kind of need to powder and maybe block by kind of the afternoon but I find to be honest with most foundations I need to do that anyway but this is a really nice everyday foundation for like work and that kind of thing it just makes you look very polished and um, has a really nice finish. The next one is Estee Lauder Double Wear Light which um, oh sorry if I didn't mention that the number seven foundation has an SPF 15 so again flash photography uh -uh. These all have SPFs in them, actually. Um, the Estee Lauder has an SPF of 10, and it is the Double Wear Light. And I have it in the shade Intensity 4.0. And this is what it looks like. Great for travelling, because it's quite slim. It's a tube, again. I like the packaging. It's quite kind of sleek and pretty. But um, this comes with a kind of squeezable thingy, so you don't waste, which is good. Um, but the only thing is, the colour selection in these is a little bit tricky because the shade under this is too light for me and this is a little bit too dark but it is a very nice foundation if you like a very light coverage. Now I don't know if this is on everyone but on me this has really light coverage. It kind of doesn't cover freckles and that kind of thing. It just gives you kind of an even skin tone but doesn't conceal every little thing that you have and doesn't conceal freckles and on a day-to-day -day basis unless I've got like something really important going on I like that look where you can still see your freckles and still see your natural um still see on your skin's natural texture showing through the product I like that um, not everyone does but I quite like that for an everyday foundation so this is really nice because it kind of dries to quite a matte finish but it's a comfortable matte finish your face doesn't feel dry it's much nicer in my opinion than Estee Lauder Double Wear the original one because obviously it's lighter in texture easier to blend if I show you it on the back of my hand actually you'll see um, it is really dark actually looking at it I don't know I kind of got persuaded, well I didn't get persuaded into it, but that's what it looks like there. It's dark, it's too dark for my hand, and my face is much paler. But um, blended in, it's alright, but I do sometimes mix a paler foundation in with it. But it blends in beautifully, and if you see it there, it just kind of has a little bit of a luminosity to it, but it looks very, very natural, and you can still see, like I said, your skin's natural, natural, natural roll natural texture so um your skin still kind of looks lively and pretty and that kind of thing so yeah those are my top picks for foundation for oily skin if anyone's got any other recommendations or questions and that kind of thing oh um powder foundation i haven't made a video about this because i don't actually like powder foundations i don't like the look of them on the skin i think you can always see them even like bare minerals and that kind of thing i'm just not a big fan of mineral powder foundations because i just think a liquid looks so much prettier and fresher um, and has more coverage so I didn't mention those but if you um, have any recommendations or that kind of thing on great um, foundations for your skin then definitely definitely let me know and I will make a video about it but um, I think I might do my top foundations point blank not for any specific skin type because um, obviously like for dry skin I'm not really going to do that because I haven't got dry skin and it might be a little bit difficult but there are plenty that I like that are not necessarily targeted at oily skin but that I still use and I can kind of talk you through those if you like so pop that in the comments below and if you've got any other requests for top anything you know top lipsticks top I don't know 
um, then we can do that. And I hope you'll have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.